Uh, was it uh, difficult to make the change given the short notice? Right-handed to southpaw? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, we were more than ready for anybody to step up to the plate. Uh, this is my corner. Went for the shot. Should have kept it standing. You know, little details to, to expand on and uh, to grow from. Uh, Nate's a game fighter. Can't say anything else like that. It's not like he's old and slow and stuff, you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully the crowd at UFC 279 that was there and present got a, some blood splattered on him or something, you know what I mean? So I had fun in there. Really I wanted good. to ask you about your leg. I mean, you kept kicking with that thing. It had a pretty bad uh, ga uh, gouge in it. Uh, did you get stitches? What, what was going on with it? I didn't even realize it, that I had it was open. I think my right leg was a little bit more hurting. My coach uh, before, my old coach, Coach Billy, said uh, kick the inside of his legs like how you did with RDA. And I knew that too. I started kicking his arms. We were trying to slow down his boxing a little bit. My boxing was starting to make more sense as I got into it. Um, little details, man. Like I said, just getting in, 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 that, in that zone. I just started sparring again, like probably like maybe two months ago. You know, this was like probably like my sixth time in front of somebody or like fifth time in front of somebody. So the game is still interesting to me. We had a game opponent. Uh, short notice, no bullshit, but it was a crazy week, man, and I'm excited about it. My shins don't hurt. I think his legs might, might hurt a little bit, but yeah, don't put some ice on it. I wonder, you know, as a guy, you had that, what was it, 12 or 13 fight winning streak, and you were at the very top of the mountain uh, for a long period of time. I'm still at the top of the mountain, And I, I want to ask you, you know, you, you fought nothing but great fighters, but what does it feel like when you see all those L's in your column, and does it shake your confidence in yourself? Are you glad sports are back on in the world? Sorry, say it again. Are you glad sports are back on in the world? Of course. We'll say thank you then. Thank you, Tony. Well, you're fucking welcome. So that's what I'm going to say, dude. I mean, when it comes down to an L, it has to go in like what's been put on the table. Putting sports back on in the world, setting an example for these youngsters to not quit, to go in there and fucking not give a shit and take the next fight that's on the land. So I'm going to be real. I don't see any Ls. I just see growth. The last four fights that I had before this one, I'm going to be real. I was sandbagging. I really wasn't doing anything. My wife called me out. You know, I found a good team. I put, found a good, most fucking motley crew of people that we could have put together. We made fucking noise. I mean, it was fun as shit, dude. I'm gonna be real. From wild card boxing to over in Albuquerque, or Jackson Wink to Black House, to my buddy Kalen Walsh, and you know, my family. Obviously, first and foremost, God and my fucking wife on a 10-year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. It's just been a trip, man. I'm still fucking glad to be here. So I hope you guys are amused for that shit.